Hi, I wanted to give you all a glimpse into the Amethyst Benefit event that we hosted on the 29th. It ended up being fabulous. The weather was rainy, so we moved indoors and it ended up having that cool, cozy vibe of a house party where you almost have to pinch yourself to realize, like, this is my life that I'm living right now. It was that good. All set up, ready to go. Moment to appreciate Rain Dawn's famous painting. I'm kind of nervous painting next to it, but I think it'll be fine. How do you feel about this whole thing? I'm so good to go! <laughs> um, as far as the live painting went, I have seen artists at festivals and other events painting their live, and I always wanted to do that, so... I linked up with this event. I always want to initiate people into their own creative journeys, and so I decided to open up my painting and invite everyone to make a mark. I had a uh, collection of items and also paintbrushes and then my acrylic paints. And um, I kind of conducted this experiment in co-creation. With that, there's always the risk that someone's gonna come up and destroy the whole thing. But this is human life, right? Um, we're all going to see what we can create together. And possibly that destruction, if it had happened, would have been part of the final painting. But it was fantastic. The idea went over really well. There were actually people lined up waiting and ready to take their turn on the canvas, which was beautiful to see. It's always exactly the people who need to be there that show up. With a lot of my footage, I wanted to respect the privacy of everyone, so you mostly just see me and the other organizers dancing around. Um, but the event was a wild success. Uh, for the painting, I knew I wanted a little structure to help me get going, so before I even came, I had this inspiration of like a whirly-swirly set of circles flowing across the canvas to kind of give it a balance between masculine and feminine energies. Um, and then during the first hour of the event, during the yoga session, I filled in the background and painted some of the yogis, just to give it some structure. Um, and then during the music, I opened it up and invited anyone to come and take a mark. And it actually turned out really great, as you can see here. Thank you to everyone who participated. The event was wonderful. And if you missed out, don't worry, we're hosting another event on November 3rd at 1 p.m. So welcome. It's still taking shape. There will be some sort of creative, collaborative activity, but we're still uh, mailing out the details on that. And we're still looking for collaborators for that event and future events. We're hoping to make this kind of thing regular. So if you want to volunteer to sing or share any other group activity events that you like to do, uh, let me know, find us on Facebook, and we'll put you in touch. After the music, we had this glorious sound immersion experience 
and I'm pretty sure everyone was blissed out by the end of all those vibrations. He led us through some sound making activities and then uh, brought out a bunch of different instruments and I was able to lay down and just relax and enjoy it after putting on a few more final touches to bring a cohesion to the painting. But I really didn't have to add much. And if you're interested, originally this was supposed to be auctioned off at the end of the event, but we're actually reserving it for the November 3rd event where we're having a lucky draw. So come on out, get your tickets, put your ticket in the jar, and you might go home with this wonder. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great night. I love you. Bye-bye.